right, guys, here we go. We got episode 20 playing against the Idaho Vandals. I'm going to start off this this video with a little update. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And just going to confirm it here just to make sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Top 25, number 22. Uh, before before the fourth game of the season. So that means we're, we're doing good. <laughs> Moving on up. Check the husband watch real quick just to see. And no surprise there, we're not even close. I even even mentioned on there. Surprise. I'm gonna go with the players of the week and let's see what we got here. Week three, no, not for the NCAA. Which it's alright. Week one, not for the NCAA. Let's check the Mac. And not for the Mac either. Wow. Figured we'd be on there. Uh, week two, definitely. My freshman linebacker's on there for the Mac and he's on there for the NCAA. Yes sir. Let's see what the Mac is for week three. And, ooh, defensive tackle's on there. Terrence Smith, he's, I think he's my uh, right defensive tackle. <laughs> if he's actually looking towards the quarterback, but on the screen, he's to the left. He's left right in the middle, so. Um, stat update, King, he's throwing a couple passes. Halls, only incomplete of four passes. Only one of them was a pick, so we're doing all right. Uh, Matthews is carrying the load, and Harper's right there behind him. And he's only a junior, so he'll he'll be coming back next year. That's a that's a good sign. And passing, I got Leonard, who's my tight end, of course, who's the top guy. And go with a little defense. That's that's strong right there. It's my my freshman. He's leading the team in tackles, sacks, <laughs> tackles for a loss, and I only have one pick. Man, that's not very good. I think this time last year I had two or three, but eh, I'll I'll take it. And I'm going to show the the kicking also. Kick three field goals. Nothing special, but. I'm, I'm at least scoring points. And I'm going to show this for you and changing it to All-American. I told you I was going to do it last time because I've been I've been routing people. I think I've only given up seven points, so change it to All-American. I've been playing on All-American on the online dynasty, so why not give it a shot? And I'm going to show you my, my recruiting standings, uh, how, how we're sitting right now. And uh, like I said in the first video, I keep, keep them ordered by overall rating. And they're they're still in that order. I got a couple of guys that are that are up, I'm at, at the top of their list, but a couple of them I'm not. And then I haven't got a commit yet. I'm still still nobody. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you only spend 20 minutes a person. But I'm trying to go through the whole list. I like to keep my list full. I think next year I might actually just go with like 10 10 or 15 and organize it like that. But we're getting right into the game and see see what this is like on All American. Um, and I call heads, heads never fails. And it, it doesn't, look at that. <laughs> I decided to kick it. I got to where I like to kick it more just because my defense has just been outrageously amazing um, since the end of last season. So I wanna, I wanna see if I can keep that going and I know I can get a stop on defense. And that's a good momentum for my team. But I'm playing at their stadium. Uh, studio update, let's see what we got. And Virginia beats Ball State. Ball State putting up a good fight though, so Looks like some people in my, my conference in my division and some of my rivals are putting up big numbers and close games against some top tier teams. So that's something we get to look forward to <laughs> later in the season. Uh, they start off with a run play on Blitzen and they get a huge game. Golly, tackle the guy. That frustrates me beyond belief, man. A blitz up the middle and nobody, nobody gets to him. Or a blitz up the middle and they busted up the middle. It's like I'm blitzing two extra guys in the middle. <laughs> Why can't why can't you block? You know, why can't you not get blocked? It's like six guys on on five. Come on now. But I guess that's just the way it works sometimes. They're going with Rand again, little option, and it goes for no gain or no. They lose yardage there. So I'm talking about. Let's see if my my defense can keep up their their hot streak here. I'm gonna keep doing what I do, man. I blitz. I think I've blitzed almost every down, <laughs> every down of the, every game so far. So I'm gonna keep doing that until they give me a reason not to. So. Let's see what we got going on here. Bringing the blitz and get through untouched and just almost almost get to him. Not quite, but he gets he gets rid of the ball in the nick of time. So third and 11. And I'm probably going to bring the blitz again. <laughs> that's my that's my go-to thing. I, I blitz like crazy. Got to get my uh, my linebacker in, in for the, the running. If he can get Heisman as a linebacker, that'd be nice. But he's got to have a couple of good games. And came through open on the end, and they got the first down. Golly. That's not what he was like third and third and eleven, and they got that no problem. So that's always comforting. 
uh, didn't my I think their, their running back actually stayed in and blocked that time and kept that linebacker from getting to him. So that's that's not good. If I can't get to the quarterback, I'm going to be screwed screwed up the uh, in the, in the downfield because I don't have anybody over the top. I don't have any help. So uh, it's pretty much man one on one, and I gotta I gotta hopefully my guys will produce deep for me <laughs> and make make the tackles when I need them. And I'm actually not blitzing here. I'm going to go with over the top. They've been throwing the ball really well. Oh, I thought I picked it. And what the heck was that? Dang it. Oh, man, I hate this game sometimes. I, like, switched, and I thought I was going to switch to the corner, and I switched to the safety. So the safety, like, does a circle because I was pointing up for the corner, and he just runs in like nobody's business. Gosh, sometimes I hate this game. 42-yard <laughs> touchdown pass. That's not what I wanted to see. And it's like put a minute and a half off the clock, and they've already scored so much for being being dominant on All American. Also, <laughs> gosh, man, it's frustrating. A six play, 75 yards, and 47 of it was a touchdown pass off stupid video game. Man, frustrating. Maybe maybe my offense can come out and produce. Let's see if we can score real quick right here. That'd be that'd be nice. Get a couple of good blocks. Man, I want to bust one. Uh, one of my buddies started playing the online dynasty with us. And he's Texas State. He said he busted like two in one game. I'm like, what the? With Texas State, you can bust it? And I'm like, top top teams, like even playing online, and like Oregon or or UT or something like that. And I can't bust it then either. It's really frustrating. And everybody else is busting them like crazy. Computer does it on me. It's weird, but oh well. But Matthews is Matthews has been dominating. I think he's had back-to-back -back games of almost 200 yards rushing. So. Whenever he is healthy, he's actually producing really good for me, even though I got Harper in, right there behind him, <laughs> who's who's a, a beast in himself. A couple of good blocks. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Good, pretty good again there. Got me the first down. I'll keep doing what I do, man. Just run the ball. And that, that works really well for me. My, my running backs aren't overly fast, so it's hard to hard to bust a huge, huge, like, ADR touchdown runs. But, uh-oh, they're showing blitz here. And they actually blitz, and I don't get hardly any blocks. I get lucky in that animation. I roll for another five yards. <laughs> but I probably, probably only should have got like one or two. But I'll take it, man. I'll take it all day. And going, going here, just running the ball. So I think what I did last game, game before last, one of the two games, I just ran. I think it was last game. I think I just ran nonstop the whole game. And it, it worked really well. Run the ball again, and nobody blocks, of course. That's not surprising. The guy came off the wide receiver and got me, and there was a, a linebacker coming through also that was going to get me too. So I had pretty much nowhere to go. So third and six, and I'm going to go with a – I didn't mean to pick this play. <laughs> I, went, I went to go for like a draw, and I picked this play on accident. And it actually works out well. Leonard's open right there for the first down. Gets a good block, and if he was any faster, man, if he was any faster, he might have had a six right there. But he's just – a slow tight end. He catches the ball well and he blocks for me pretty good, but he's just not as fast as like a wide receiver or a running back. So that's a little heart heart wrenching right there. Could have had an easy touchdown, but no such luck. We try to run the ball again. I think it was like a little draw play, and they weren't falling for it. They were all over me in the backfield. That's Harper. Harper usually Harper usually will break break a tackle or two before he goes down right there. I guess he didn't have the option because Matthews is tired. So Harper's still in. I'm going to keep running the ball. It's been working really good for me. And actually switch it up that play a little bit. I'm supposed to go outside, so I cut through. Or maybe that's actually how the play is supposed to work. It's supposed to be a huge hole there, and I go through it. But usually there's not, so I bump it outside. <laughs> one one of the two options there. But um, I'll, I'll take that. That was a pretty good gain after that atrocious first, first down. I'm going to throw the ball again, just trying to get the first down at the very least. And hey, hey, hey. Oh, I don't know how that wasn't picked. <laughs> There's three guys on him. I don't know why I threw it to him. I guess it took too long, but he catches it and falls for the first down. It's Leonard again coming big, coming up huge for me. So that's good. In the red zone, first time this game. It's almost the end of the first quarter. Just going to keep running the ball and milk that clock. And golly, uh, Matthew takes a hard shot there. And actually the ratings for this team, they're like a D everything. <laughs> and it's it's really weird. I went to... I was doing the custom schedules, and I wanted to make it home game because I want extra home games. Why not, right? And if I did, it dropped my my schedule difficulty to like a, an F instead of like a C minus or whatever it was. So I kept it at their place, 
and I was like, they're they're a crap team. I did it with U, uh, UTSA also, and then nope. Or maybe I played UTSA home. I think I was going to switch them, but it didn't. It wouldn't let me. The rating for the schedule was just bad, so I just left it how it was. And second 16 after another bad run there. I want to try to run it again. <laughs> Why not? A little draw play and breaks the tackle and forces his way down there. Yes, sir. That way, Matthews. He's uh he's turning out to be pretty pretty good, even though he got benched last season for a Heisman candidate at, at the end of the year. But he's actually doing pretty good for me right now. We got a third down inside the red zone. Let's see if I can score before the end of the first quarter. That'd be nice. And I'm just gonna see if they're in man. I'm gonna try to move him over, move him over. Oh, ran out of time. wasn't paying attention. Dang it. <laughs> so at the end of the first quarter, I'm down seven nothing. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised by that my defense gave up a, a big play and that's all it takes man that's all it takes in, in this game one big play and you're pretty much screwed try to throw it and I threw it to the guy that's covered and Utah beat USC I think every every game I've played every dynasty or what USC has lost to Utah this year and I don't I don't understand it I don't see it I didn't think Utah was that good but apparently I'm out of the loop in college football <laughs> like USC Utah you told me those two teams are playing, I'm going to tell you that USC is going to win every time, but apparently not. Apparently USC will not beat Utah ever, <laughs> at least in this game. So it's kind of kind of a shocker there. But I forced a punt and and got got the ball back, and there was a little play-action pass because I've been running the ball so much. Ooh, go, go, Matthews. Matthews busted a big one right there. Did a little play-action pass, and Hall got a good run. Scrambled for me, and then Matthews busted a nice 20-yard run down the sideline. I'm going to go back to running it, see if I can get in. Studio update, and NC State's on top of Florida State. Florida State's ranked, so if they get upset, that'd be nice. Maybe I can move up in the rankings if I win. <laughs> Getting the top 10 for the end of the year. That's my goal now. I thought I got in just close, just right there on the goal line. Didn't quite get in. Next play, Harper gets the glory. Ties it up 7-7 with about two minutes left. Just run the ball, milk the clock. Take as much time as I need as long as I get in, as long as I get the win. <laughs> If I milk the clock and turn the ball over, I'm going to be mad. But I'm blitzing, and they're hitting those little slant routes, so I'm going to have to switch it up a little bit. The computer's all over my, my game plan here. Uh, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit, and it's actually working pretty good. Third and seven. They're not, not getting first down every time now, and he's just got all day. Picked it. Yes, sir. Picked it. That's what I'm talking about. It's my second pick of the year. <laughs> it's about time. Throw it, and that guy, he was wide open. He was wide open. All I did was just throw it to him, and I missed him. Gosh, sometimes that quarterback accuracy gets on my nerves. But see if I can get it again, third and 11. Just need a first down here. And got it. Yes, sir. First down, got about 30 seconds left. Throwing the ball again. And no huddle is horrible now. They did something. They updated it. And you do no huddle. And every single time, the the freaking court, the wide receivers can't hear you. So it takes longer to do the no huddle than it does actually pick a play and we get a touchdown right there there we go Matthews gets his like fifth touchdown of the season he's still behind Harper on touchdowns but he's he's catching up so we're at 14-7 right here at the, end of the second quarter and they're probably just going to run it and that's pretty much it for the this half <laughs> this half of football is done we're at 14-7 not not a huge blowout like I'm used to but I get the ball back and actually my buddy told me about that in the the no huddle um he was doing his online and he he, he figured it out after, like, they've updated twice now. And he, he figured it out. He says, it's just ridiculous because you do no huddle to speed it up. But every single time you do it, the, the wide receivers can't hear you call the play. So it takes an extra 10 seconds for them to come over, act like they're listening, and then get back to their position. And hopefully they still run the right play. It's stupid. And uh, he, he told me about it. And then point in, point in case right there on the video, it, it sure is sure enough. Sure enough, man. So thank you. Thank you, man for telling me about that and Georgia's and Vanderbilt's tied 24-24 and I couldn't get anything going so I punted it I'm not afraid to punt the ball <laughs> as long as I get the win I'm not afraid to punt the ball and I got a good tackle right there stopped him for no gain they're running the ball right like that like that running the ball over the middle and it's just one of those I'm pinching in the middle um <laughs> like I bring my lineman into the middle every time and I pinch the middle almost every time and it they run up the middle and it frustrates me but I just need to stick with my game plan here, force another punt for them. Defense is stepping up after that first drive and giving up that lucky, stupid video game touchdown. 
and third quarter here. And Matt, Matthews has almost got 100 yards rushing. It's not quite his 200 he's been having, but close enough. <laughs> it's almost in the third quarter here. I think I'm going to get one more playoff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, nope. <laughs> thought I milked it, milked it all the way down, but I didn't. So starting the fourth quarter here, I'm actually going to show the whole thing because it's a, it's a close game. It's 14-7 to 7 right now, so keep you guys entertained. And uh, and uh, like the, the stat update at the beginning, that was for, for the guy last season. He, he wanted that. He, wanted, he asked me like three or four times if we can get a stat update, but I'd already recorded the videos because I had plans during the weekend, so I couldn't get it going. But the stat update's for him, and I'll do it two more times for the season. And a little screen pass, go, 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 go. It works wonders. Works wonders. Go, Matthews, go, go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> screen pass works. Usually it doesn't work. Usually I go throw it like that, and I'll get hit, and I'll tuck the ball. It's stupid, but it actually worked out there, so money money in the bank now i can just milk the clock run the ball nice and easy nothing nothing special and he comes off his block and hits me yeah that guy just runs through with the block like no big deal and then hits me and then yeah ridiculous whatever matthews was injured but he's going to come back so he continues his streak of getting injured at least once every game <laughs> at least it's not for like three or four weeks or something like that so, and Harper, Harper's like, I'll take the first down. I'll take all the glory while you're out. Hurt, quote unquote, hurt. <laughs> so Harper's gonna carry the workload for me. And here we go, strength pictorial. I'm gonna say he can, he can sit out for a little bit and come back whenever he's ready. I'm not gonna force his way back in. Because he's been he's been doing good for me. He's, Matthew's actually been producing, so I don't want him, want him to get hurt this season. I'm gonna keep, keep Harper going. See if I can give him another touchdown. And I just follow the blockers touchdown, yes sir. That was perfect. <laughs> Saw that guy coming through the hole I was supposed to run through, so I cut it back. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, cut it back, followed him, cut it the other way, touchdown. Yes, sir. So I'm up 21-7 now. We've got four minutes left, though, so it's still still anyone's ball game. There's plenty of time for them to score. <laughs> uh, I've had I've had somebody throw a screen pass on me for six in a matter of, like, ten seconds, so it's very possible. But going back on defense, I think I forced two punts this game and a pick. So defense is tearing it up, and man, I enjoy my kicker doing this because I don't I have a horrible kick return defense. So having them not actually do anything <laughs> is is amazing. I just have to kneel it every time. Granted, I get on the 25, but that's better than them returning it for six. So uh, I'll take that. I'll kick it deep every time if I have to. I'm not blitzing again because they've uh, they've done me dirty a couple of times. So. Almost get to him. That guy broke free and almost got to him, but not quite. But golly, he almost came off the end. He came through untouched, <laughs> but that's the guy at the end. The tight end was like a little uh, delay. He acted like he was blocking and then broke out for a pass, and he was open. But um, I've been hurrying the quarterback at the very least. Haven't got. I don't think I've got maybe fumble, fumble, fumble. Got it. Yes, sir. Give me that ball. Strong. There he is. He's been quiet most of this game. He gets the tackle. And gets up and picks up the ball. Get off me, son. Yes, sir. So that's pretty much ball game. Booth review, seriously. That's all. That's my ball all day. It's my ball all day. Let's see what he says. And oh, overturn? Are you serious? <laughs> now just said it was a uh, reverse. Man, it's ridiculous. That was my ball the whole way. Gosh, man. At least they don't go through and show, like, the replay. Like, sometimes I want it because I want to see what happened. Because if you watch the replay, if you watch the replay, then it, 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 you can't challenge it or anything like that. So, But the booth, the booth can, I guess. But I thought I had that, no problem. But apparently I didn't. A little frustrating. But it's, uh, it is what it is, as long as I can stop them. I think they've got a first down right there anyways on third down. He dropped it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Second down. <laughs> see if I can keep them from scoring. That's uh, that's the goal. They're going three wide, so I'm gonna go my uh, my dime, my dime cover two man. Got to take these over at the top. Cause I'm not blitzing much anyway, so it's not really hurting anything. Go with a little bit more cornerback speed instead of uh, linebackers trying to guard everybody. I and mean, that linebacker, ooh, <laughs> golly. Like that linebacker backed off a little too much on the tight end, and then he just waylaid on the tight end. That's the strong guy. It's my freshman. He's, uh, he's actually pretty good. I think I recruited him last year. 
and I told him I wasn't going to I wasn't going to sit him to start the season. He was going to get plenty of playing time, and he's definitely earned it. He's been all over the place this entire season, and that guy was wide open. Golly, frustrating. I think I went zone there, so I'm going to go a little different here. Go a little man action, because zone, I got you just hit the open spots. They only stay in a certain area, so let's go where they're not. Little man, he's got all day throw. Get him, get him. Almost got to him, just missed him. He throws it deep. Oh, pick it, pick it off. He almost cut that off the rebound. Man, my guy hit it, and then he almost caught it. So that would have been nice if I could have picked it there. That would have essentially sealed the deal, but not quite. Can't get a, can't catch a break right now. I keep getting first downs, and I keep dropping easy interceptions and missing sacks. So, oh, see right there, dropped it, dropped it again. Hit the tight end in his hands and hit my corner of safety coming across, trying to pick it. I actually did that in a, an online game against one of my buddies. This is like two or three times. It was one of those shoestring picks from a guy that wasn't even in the frame. He was uh, he was getting a little, a little mad, but I don't blame him. <laughs> Something like that's a little ridiculous. Because uh, I remember that happened to me. Me and my brother were playing, and one of his guys would pick it off one-handed like every time. It was super frustrating, man. But that's just how it goes sometimes. You can't catch your break. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Like that right there is another drop pick. <laughs> it hit the guy right in his hands. He was in front of him and everything. Couldn't get him. So fourth and ten, they're going to go for it. They don't have a choice here. They pretty much have to get it to, to keep this game alive. And I still can't get any pressure on him. Almost got to him. He throws it deep again and picked it. Picked it. Yes, sir. I think that's his second pick of the game. Golly. Dude's all over the place. It's like, give me that ball, coach. Yeah. Got about two minutes left. Just need to run the clock out. They they might call timeout because there's still quite a bit of time left, but just need to get a first down if they do. So that's all I'm going to do is run the ball. I don't want to throw it because that will stop the clock if I can complete it. That's what they want. And they can save a timeout. Get a good block. Get a good block. God, I keep running into my line, but it takes extra time off the clock, and they have to use a timeout, so that's good. I'm going to run the ball again. If I can, if I can get the first down, it'll be ball game. It'll be ball game for sure. <laughs> You know, it's a little like uh, back in the day we play played my brother and other people on like when they first started doing online dynasties, people thought it was cheap if you knelt and knelt down or something like that. They were like, "Go for it, go for it, be a man." But I'm, I, nope, I'll take the I'll take the win if I have to kneel it. <laughs> if I'm up by one, you're, you're dang right, I'll kneel it every time. I'm not gonna take a chance to fumble it right there. I could if I could have spun off or got off to the left, I would have had a touchdown. No, no problem, but I got stuck on the guys, and I tried spinning it. It just didn't quite work, and I got tackled there. I was like, no, <laughs> super frustrated. When I got the first down, they have to use their last time out and get a couple of blocks, and then they just need to milk the clock, run the play clock down, and I think one more first down will seal the deal. I think I have to get at least one more because it's like a 40-second play clock, and I got about a, a four plays worth on, on there, so that's uh, – and I got three plays left on this this marker, this drive, no, this down series. So I got second, third, and fourth. So I need at least a first down to to end the game. If I run it to about ten seconds, then oh, fake him, fake him, <laughs> and don't get a good block. He shrugs him off though. Stay in bounds, stay in bounds. Third down. Yeah, see, I got a minute and twenty seconds. I need to run at least two plays. To, to finish it, but this is pretty much pretty much ball game, unless there's a turnover here. <laughs> Matthews is is known to not be 100% all the time, so it is a possibility. They're going with a little quarters defense. Why would you go quarters here? You know I got to run it. I guess they don't want to give up a big pass play in case I I fake them out a little bit. But they go with quarters, which is kind of weird. And just need to get the first down. So I need four yards. And ooh, juked him, juked him first down. Ball game. That's it. <laughs> Studio update. Let's see what we got here. And hey, Miami University beats Ohio. Oh, interesting. Ohio. We we played them for the conference championship last year. And that was a that was a pretty good game. It was a little back and forth. But it looks like they're not going to make it. Or they already lost one this year. We're still we're sitting on undefeated four and zero. Just going to kneel it a couple of times, and that's ball game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I think I think next week we play. The Western Michigan Broncos, that's going to start conference play and uh, get us going. And we we almost lost to them last year. I think we, we barely beat them. They're the one that busted the huge green pass on us. 
down the sideline. It was like a 70-something yard. It was a new record, whatever it was. It was just bad. It was just bad all around. So I guess All-American, I can't blitz every time. It's going to be a little bit more more interesting. <laughs> can't just run the same plays over and over and over again. Granted, the running, running the ball worked, but I threw a pick this game, and that was his second of the year. So threw a, a pick and a couple incomplete passes. So nothing... Nothing big for Hall. He's not giving me a whole lot of numbers, but he's not not doing me dirty either. So let's see what we got here. We're as excited celebrating. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Number 22, we're actually ranked. Beat the Idaho Vandals, which is a surprise. We should have beat them play of the game. It's that pick six, or that pick in the end zone. And they don't show who the player of the game was. I'm going to assume it was Matthews. He, he had like 120 yards rushing. So I'm going to assume it was him. And... And say it was, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I think we play the Western Michigan Broncos next week. It's going to start conference play, and then I think we the, we're going to do three more games, and then the this game, and then two more games. Wait, three more games after this one, and then we'll do another stat update so you guys can see what's going on, see if we're still ranked or something like that, and overall team stats stuff stuff like that, like picks and differentials and all that jazz. But uh. That's gonna be that's gonna be it for this week, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, and next video will be out in a couple of days. See you guys later.